Good afternoon, officer. Can you state your name and spell your name for court reporter and for the jury? Yes, sir. Pedro Felix. I should have spell it too. Okay, sorry. Yeah. P E D R O F E L I X. Can you briefly introduce yourself to the jury for us? Yes, good morning. I am uh, Corporal Felix of the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office. I'm currently uh, assigned to the Patrol Division. And how long have you been with Santa Cruz Sheriff's Department? Total for well over 15, 16 years. You became involved in this case at some point, right? Correct. Who, who notified you and told you you need to work <coughs> some part of this case? Who, who, in, who, who uh, gave you instruction? Uh, Sergeant Promotings? What was, your, what was your main job in this case? My main job was to, I relieved Sergeant Rodriguez and just uh, safe keep the body. Okay, so you're familiar where the, the victim's body was located? Correct. And you relieved Sergeant Rodriguez, that was a, a night shift duty, right? It was at uh, 9, 7, 24 p.m. PM until when? I left at 1, 43 in the morning. Why'd you leave? Uh, that's when everything was collected and I left after the body and the lighting equipment was picked up and I was told to leave. So there's lighting equipment there? Yes. And then who picked up the body, do you recall? Myself and evidence custodian Luis Gonzalez. I mean, where is the body going? Uh, to the Luis Mar uh, sorry, Martinez funeral home. You also conducted, or you also um, did some GPS coordinates. Correct. And so, do you recall what the GPS, you did GPS coordinates for what? For the actual body. And do you recall what those coordinates were? Not off memory. Your Honor, permission to approach a witness? shows you has been marked as Government Exhibit 1.2. That's your report, is it right? Is that correct? I want you to just review that real quick, look up when you're done. You ready? Did, did that report refresh your recollection? Yes. What were the coordinates? Uh, it's going to be 31.35304 by negative 110.0239. You also will come and get that report. I just do counsel and judge for you. <clears throat> you also included those coordinates into a Google map, right? No, I didn't. You didn't do a Google map? No, that was not. I'm going to show you what's more just the exhibit 73. A is an alpha. You don't recall? Is that, is that on your screen? No. Oh, I'm sorry. You got your screen in two seconds. Do you recall that? That photo? Yes. You reviewed that photo, right? Yes. And that photo captures the GPS coordinates you, you measured on the day of? Yes. Is that, that red dot, is that reflective of the GPS coordinate where the victim's body was found? Yes. I'm going to show you government exhibit 73. B, just a different photo. You see that photo? Yes. Is that the same coordinates? Red dot indicating the GPS coordinates? Yes. Are those fair and accurate representations of the GPS coordinates you took? Yes. Finally, Government Exhibit 73C is in Charlie. You see that photo? Yes. The red dot 
is attributed to the GPS coordinates that you took? Yes. Is that a fair and accurate representation? Yes. Move to admit 73 A, B, and C, Your Honor. <coughs> I just need clarification, Your Honor. I'm looking at the state's exhibit list, and 73 doesn't seem to match what uh, is being presented. So I'm just confused what they are. Down the line, it's 73. What number do we have for us? What are we number these? What are we number these for the record? No, I think that's correct. We have. Not to be charged. One second. One second. Yeah, just, just leave it. Just leave it the way it is. A seventy-three. And you can remark whatever it's erroneously marked. Very nice. Okay. Can I see what it is? That this doesn't just. see the photos on your screen yes and did you mark up these photos yourself I plot them I did plot them okay and it was based off of what sir the my what we use is CalTopo what I use is CalTopo is a mapping uh, application which allows us to uh, mark and look up our GPS coordinates how did you on that date you had to start with something accurate to to make it marked up. I just don't understand. How did you get the coordinates at that date? So when I relieved uh, Sergeant Rodriguez, uh, I stood next to the body with my application, which is, has, is, uh, has a GPS on it. There's a button where I press and it gives me my exact location. Then I'm able to mark that location into there's layers, maps, depends on how I have it, and this get, it gets recorded. So I, so that's how. And is this a, a, a coordinates that are plus minus have room for a little bit of error or is it precision exact? I mean, if you it, took one step to the left, would it still say the same coordinate? No. Okay, it would be a different coordinate. Yes. Okay, then I have no objection, Sean. Exhibit 73, A, B, and C is admitted. I'm just going to publish, permission to publish just 73 A is an alpha. A 73 A is an alpha. You recognize that photo, right? <coughs> yes. That's one of the ones we're talking about, right? Yes. That red dot reflects what? It depends on where, the, where I mark the location. The GPS location the of? The GPS location of the body. That you were there for, yes. right? Yes. Just one second, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor, we do organize. 
I'm sure you has been assuming it's been marked as Exhibit 35 for the government. saw the night of? Yes. Is that the victim's body? Yes. I'm going to show you, I'm going to mark this 35B. He is a boy. Another photograph. Recognize that? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. Uh, I'll show you what's been marked as, see exhibit C is in Charlie. Is that upside down or upside down? Is it a fair, inaccurate representation? Yes. Uh, I'll show you what's been marked 35D. Is that fair and accurate representation? Yes. And you were on scene, right? Correct. And you watched over the victim's body for what seems approximately four hours, right? From 7.24 to 1.30? Oh, more than that. More than that. Six hours. Somewhere else. All right. I'm going to show you this to mark the exhibit 35 E's and Echo. Do you see that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. I'm sure you marked as Government Exhibit 35F has been Frank. Recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. I'm sure you Government Exhibit 35G is in Giraffe. Recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. I show you government exhibit 35H as in house. Fair, is you recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. I'm sure you government exhibit 35 eyes and indigo. I, you recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. Just a few more. I'm sure you government exhibit 35 J as in Jenga. You recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. I'll show you government exhibit 35K. You recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. I'm going to show you government exhibit 35L as in Lima. Recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. My last one for you. I'm going to show you government exhibit 35M as in Mike. Recognize that photo? Yes. Fair and accurate? Yes. <coughs> They're moved to admit 
Governments 35A through M and evidence. No objection, Your Honor. 35A through M are admitted. Permission to publish, Your Honor? All right, this is 35A as in Apple. What's that picture of? <coughs> that is a picture of the um, decedent, the body. Do you, do you have any directionality here? Do you know what direction you're facing? The body's facing? Well, the body was facing towards the south. Okay, and so to the right is, what's to the right, do you know? You were there for six hours. So south, to the right will be west, left. Well, if I'm facing to the body, right's gonna be east, left's gonna be, correction, right's gonna be west, bottom's gonna be east, right to the east. Place facing kind of south and east. Right. <coughs> this could be probably easier. Where is the Kelly residence in relationship to this body? The Kelly residence from the body was, well, the body from the Kelly residence, backyard of the Kelly residence was somewhere southeast. Well, look at the photo, if I look at the photo, where is the house? Towards, forward, a little bit north of it, to the west. Can we just, is it to the right, left, up or down? Bodies, the house should be forward, a little bit forward from the feet and to the right. To the right. I'm not gonna say you're directionally challenged, but that's. <laughs> I will show you exhibit 35B as in boy. Is that another photograph <coughs> yes. of the victim's body? Yes. We're seeing the legs, right? We see the torso to the left? Yes. We see the, the boots and the pants, right? Yes. yes. 35C is in Charlie. <coughs> is that photo, what's that a photograph of? The Upper torso of the uh, decedent man who was with his backpack. And, and that, what color? Camel. No, what color shirt is that? Uh, it was kind of bluish, greenish type color. And the color of the pants? Uh, khaki. And what color of the backpack? It was a camouflage. And where's that backpack on him? Where is it on? Where is it on his body? It's on his shoulders, like strap on his shoulder. Would it be fair? Is it? Over his head, too? Yes. Thirty-five D is in David. Another photograph of the body, right? Yes. That shows from a different angle? Yes. Thirty-five E is an echo. Was that a photo of? Mm -hmm. The same, the uh, body. Different angle, right? Different angle. But we see something different in the towards the bottom left, right? What's 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 on his shirt? What's some dark stains? What are the do you know what the dark stains are? Blood. I'm gonna show you exhibit thirty five F as in Frank. <coughs> Another photograph, a different angle, right? Correct. Right. And what and that backpack is to the right. Right. That's, you, you already testified, over his shoulder, over his head? Yes. Very five G, it's in giraffe. Another photograph, right? Yes, on the feet. How, how tall is that grass, by the way? Uh, probably a couple of feet. Couple of feet, right? You're from Arizona, right? Yes. From the area here? Yes. That grass is common in southern Arizona? Yes. If someone were to crouch down and hide, it would be easy to hide in that kind of grass? Yes. If you're looking for something in that kind of grass, it would be easy to miss something? Okay. 35H. What's that photograph of? Of the blood stain. Close up, right? Yes. And we have so we orient ourselves, we see the backpack to the right, right? Yes. There's a strap of some sort. You can draw on your monitor too. There's a strap. Hold on, I'm highlighting this strap right here. You see that? Yes. Do you know if you had like a, a, also a fanny pack? Yes. All right, is, would you know, do you have any recollection if that's a strap of the fanny pack? Mm -hmm. I don't. 
Okay. And then we've got some kind of antenna, something over here. Okay. See that? Do you recall what that is? Yes, a radio. Radio. Thirty-five I is an indigo. And that's a close-up shot of the shoulder area of the victim's body, right? Yes. You see where that backpack is at? Yes. Thirty-five J as in Jenga. That's a close-up photo of the radio, right? Right. Thirty-five K kangaroo. That photo close-up of the left side of the victim's body, lower lower area. Right. And the 35L is in Lima. It's a close up of his right leg. Yes. And finally, we have 35M is in Mike. It's a close up of the left leg. Perfect. That's all the questions I have, Your Honor. Questions, Your Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> do you get addressed by deputy, Felix, or how do we address you? Oh, ma'am. You don't corporal want me to deputy. say, hey, you, do you? No. Deputy corporal. Deputy corporal? You're a corporal? All right. So how long at this time have you been since you went to the academy? How long? Oh, yes, sir. I went to 2005. 2005. September 2005, that's one. And when you were in the academy, you are trained to handle different situations, including crime scenes. Is that right? Correct. Okay. And when you got to the scene, you were not the first officer guarding the body, were you? No. And who was guarding it first, to your knowledge? Sergeant Omar Rodriguez. Now, when you go to a crime scene, what's your job as an officer guarding that particular location? What would your job be? To not allow anybody, any unauthorized people to go over there and touch, tamper with the body itself. So are you allowed to touch and tamper? No. So when you say touch it or whatever, you're basically making sure no one touches, moves, alters, does anything until the right people um, um, get to the scene. Is that right? Right. And who, what type of right people would that be? Our investigators. Crime investigators. Who were your crime investigators? Well, the people that got there was, uh, at the time, Joseph Bunting, Jorge Inza, Alonso Flores, and uh, Mario Barba. What's the last one? Mario Barba. Okay, but usually the detective, lead detective, is not necessarily the one that's working the crime scene. Who is designated to work the actual crime scene? To your knowledge on this date, January, uh, it was January 30th going into the 31st. Who took photographs? Yeah, Alonso Flores. Flores? Who analyzed the uh, the body and positioning and drew maps and all that stuff? Who was doing that? I believe Alonso, Alonso Flores and Mario Barba over there. So, it would be proper procedures to wait for the crime scene investigators to come to the body before anything is done in that location. Is that correct? Correct. If, uh, who is normally designated 
in training procedures to um, respond to a body and protect it. Who would be the first person to do that? The first officer on scene. First officer, police officer, okay. And is it proper procedures to also have some kind of log of who enters the location and leaves the location of a crime scene? Yes. Are you aware of that being done? I believe so. Okay. Do you know who did it? I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was Deputy Lopez. Now, when you get there, the crime scene's very dark, correct? Yes. And there were a lot of photos shown to you, and I'd like to go back over them, but my understanding is, will you agree that your job is to make sure no one else enters until the right authority comes into the scene, and that would be crime scene officers, correct? Yeah. So... Your buddy can't go up there. Someone that was patrolling with you shouldn't be up there. You're protecting that body in that location, correct? Yes. What's the reason? Integrity. To keep the body integrity. Keep it what? But to keep the body integrity, make sure there's nobody contaminates or anything like that. Okay. So the integrity, so that <laughs> proper information will filter down the pathway of the investigation, correct? Yes. The proper information will go to the medical examiner, correct? Correct. Right proper uh, information would get to the detective <coughs> to review, correct? All right. And ultimately, that proper information would be reflected in this courtroom, correct? All right. Okay. And so if something is altered, that that uh, basically attacks the integrity of the crime scene, doesn't it? Yes. And you didn't do that, did you? No. And you don't know if it was done prior to you getting there, do you? No. Okay, I'm going to show you some photos that the state just went over <coughs> with you quickly, and that's uh, states number 35, okay? okay? And I'm going to start with A. some straps of what might be the fanny pack or to the uh, well it's off to the side by the right hip did, do you notice that yes did you notice when you were guarding the body there was a backpack and a fanny pack initially it didn't pardon initially it didn't what does that mean when I got there I just saw the body I didn't see the the uh, the fanny pack until it was removed until it was removed? Well, it was once CID got there and started checking the body. So these photos are after removed? These, these are first. These photos are before. Before it was removed. But do you see this thing running along the side of the body here? Yes. Okay. Oh, um, something went through. Where it's marked with a red dot. <laughs> I erased it. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. So that appears to be a fanny pack, correct? Would you agree? Could be. Okay. And a fanny pack is usually worn on your body. Would you agree? Typically, yes. Um, and there is some photos that you may or may not be aware of, but fanny packs are often now worn on the front of your chest. It's the common, youthful way of wearing a fanny pack. Have you seen that out there before? I have. Okay. And does that appear that this fanny pack is being worn at this moment? No. Did you take it off the body? No. Do you know who took it off the body? No. So, if a person's traveling 
in this terrain, he's probably wearing whatever he has on him. His fanny pack, his backpack, would you agree? If you're hiking? Typically. Yes. And so you have no idea why this fanny pack is to the side. No. You don't know any, have any idea if someone try to rob him of the contents of this fanny pack, do you? No. So you have no idea how this might have got pulled from the front chest of, the, of this um, the person that has been photographed. No. <clears throat> I'm going to show you B again, or B again, reflecting the fanny pack on there. Seems to be along his side of his body, correct? Correct. Now, you didn't take these photos, in all no. fairness, correct? No. But you did see this, this person laying there. Yes. As reflected by the photos. Yes. And I'm going to show you what is now C, I believe, 35C. There is a, fan, a backpack sitting over this gentleman's head. Is that correct? Correct. Did you notice that the backpack was unzipped? No. You never noticed it? No. Okay. Let me show you um, some photos that are not in the state's photos, may be similar or some may be duplicative, but I'm going to show you Defense Exhibit <laughs> SS and I'm going to let the state see it. And I'm going to tender it to the witness. Thank you, Judge. Okay. Now, does this look like the same person in the photos that you are seeing that have already been published? Yes. So this accurately depicts also just a different angle zoomed in of the deceased? Yes. Okay. And you want to look at the rest you can. Have you had a chance to review these photos? Yes. That defense is marked as SS. Do these photos also accurately depict the body as you saw it? Yes. <coughs> and you did say you were out there until the body actually was taken to the morgue? Yes. Okay, so you did watch or observe crime scene, take some of these photos? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, I'd like to enter in uh, Defense Exhibit SS. Okay. 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 No objection. Exhibit SS is admitted. Permission to publish. Now, we're going to have to get past this. I apologize that we have to look a little more closer to a face. But if this is important, and this is uh, Exhibit A, and I'm more directing 
more in all respect. I'm trying to cover up the face just a little bit. Okay. I'm I'm reflecting here more the the uh, the backpack. Okay. So being sensitive to a partial face being shown. Um, I covered up the face a little bit, but do you notice that this backpack is unzipped? Yes. Okay. Do you notice it appears to be unbuckled? Yes. Okay. You didn't unzip it, did you? No. You didn't raise it above his head, did you? No. You didn't see any other officers did it because you were guarding on your watch, right? Yes, ma'am. And you never heard about anyone else doing it up to this point, right? No. Are you? While you were there, were you still waiting for someone to start taking these photos? Yes. Okay, so they came after you took over in Garden? Yes. And again, the person that was guarding at first was whom? Uh, Sergeant Omar Rodriguez. I'm going to show you photo B, defense exhibit, again, still on SS. We're still looking at the backpack or the fanny pack off to the side, right? Yes. <coughs> now, I'm going to show you, I believe we're on C. Point to the board up here. You see the backpack? Yes. Is the head positioned a little bit underneath that backpack at this time? And we're going to go back to the state's exhibit for comparison. Or actually, this is mine. States 35, just to compare it real quick. Just a little bit different angle, correct? Yes. And nestled in the tall grass, you can kind of start to see a, a head in there, correct? Yes. And that backpack is literally on top of them. Yep. Yeah. All right. Did you notice this backpack also had a waist buckle? No, you didn't get to see that. Okay. So we got an open backpack above his head, and we don't know why it's like that, correct? Correct. And I'm going to show you the next photo in, in SS. And we're now at D. <clears throat> Once again, we've got a different angle, but we got the backpack reflected over his head because you could clearly see the, the bottom half of the subject and his back, clearly away from the backpack, correct? Correct. Not in a normal position, would you agree? No. Let me go to, I believe this will be E. Now at some point, we got a 
a cut strap, correct? Looks like it. Right. Okay. And that is the backpack still, right? It's camouflaged? Yes. Or is this the fanny pack? Can you tell? I can't tell. It looks like the boat. Okay. We're on F. Let's go through this. Okay. You can see the belt line of the of the deceased bird. It seems to have a belt on or something. Is that right? Looks like it. G. Again, you got a better view of the backpack literally on top of this head, right? Yes. And possibly some straps <coughs> that are not buckled up, correct? Correct. Most backpacks have a loop at the top, would you agree? <coughs> and you grab your backpack with it, a little loop. Some. Observe um, crime scene um, once they did get there. Did you kind of hang out there with them? I stayed there. Okay. Did you observe them rummaging through his personal effects? I believe they were taking photographs of the, of the interior of that. So let me show you hmm, the last one in here of this grouping. I believe is K. It appears that crime scene, and I'm sure you, you're going to say this is not you, right? You're not doing this. Yes, that wasn't me. Someone from crime scene has gloves on, correct? Correct. Gloves from. And do you know why they wear gloves? Well, to, yes, for one, to not contaminate the, the item. And obviously for safety reasons also. Okay, so it's kind of a, you agree, it's a protection for both. One, to keep the, the evidence from being contaminated, right? Right. In case there's DNA, fingerprints, or whatever, that <coughs> might be needed later, right? Right. But also, we are possibly dealing with blood, and that's also to protect the officer, right? Right. All right, now this is the fanny pack. Would you agree? Yes. You have any idea why it's half empty? No. Okay, you were unsure of um, that whether he was wearing a buckle or a belt, and I'm going to go back to states 35, and you can clearly see there is a leather belt, correct? Correct. Right.
when you said you saw a blood stain <coughs> item, that would be a, just a good logical guess, correct? Right. You're not a, a chemist in any ways, correct? Right. You didn't see a lot of blood around the body, <coughs> did you? No, not that I could recall. Yes. And you said, did someone bring out some lighting around the body? Yes. Are you aware of how big of an area was created around the body to make it a crime scene? No. So you don't know how far you could let someone come in or out? You're guarding the body. Yes. Only the body? Only or the body. what about the location around the body? I was instructed the body. Pardon? I was only instructed the body. So anyone that walked around, as long as they didn't touch the body, was, was okay? I don't know. Well, I mean, as far as you were concerned, on your orders? Orders were the body. Okay. So my question was, if I came three feet away from the body, that was okay? You just didn't want them to touch the body? Not necessarily. You let them come three feet around the body no. to look? No. Well, how far out did you keep people from coming around the body? That was my question. The only people that got there were, were the body were evidence, were our, sorry, the uh, crime scene investigators. Were you aware that there were dogs all around the body? I know ETF got there. So you didn't see the homeowner's dogs at all? No. You would admit though, if you were the first officer at the scene, which you were not on this day, but if you were based on your training, and a body was discovered, you would first look to see if the person needed medical care? Yes. And if they didn't, you would have protected the body and waited for crime scene? Can you repeat that? And if the person was appeared to be deceased, did not need any medical care, would you then just stand there and protect the body <coughs> until backup and crime scene got there? Right. That is what your training is, correct? Right. So you wouldn't personally touch the body? No. I'll pass the witness. Let's talk about first, well, we always got to start off with recency. Last question pertained to um, who is around the body or who you allow to be around the body. Remember those? Questions? Yes. Um, this is this an urban area or a very rural area? A rural. Huh? A rural area? No one's around, right? Yes. There's no one mulling around the area. Or, the only people there are you, and then CID comes. Yes. So there's no one to guard off from contaminating the area, is there? Or, let me ask you: um, Were you weren't there when the body was first discovered? Were you? And you were not involved with the processing, right? No. So there's two bookends here. You're not familiar with what happened with the officers on scene when they got there, for example, Sergeant Rodriguez. And you didn't partake in the processing of the scene. No. Your job was to stand guard and be a sentinel. Right. Would you have any knowledge if the backpack was cut to check for life signs? No. Would you have any knowledge that the backpack was open for processing? No. Would you have any knowledge? I mean, there were some questions about this fanny pack. You, let me just go back general. You don't, you don't, you're not aware of everyone's proclivity of how to wear a fanny pack, are you? Sure. You're not aware if the fanny pack was attached to the backpack, are you? No. Instead of being around him, it was attached to the backpack. You're not aware of that, are you? No. And you wouldn't have comment or opinion about what may or may not be in a backpack or a fanny pack, do you? No. And you didn't take these photos, did you? No. Some of these, these, some of these photos were, you don't know if they were before or after, do you? 
I asked you to identify if there were fair and accurate representations of what you recall, right? From, you can't tell on which book in, before or after, do you? No. That's for someone else to do, right? Yes. That's all the questions I have here. All right, thank you, sir. You can step down. I'm going to ask the judge, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeff, hold on. I apologize. Any questions for the witness? We do have a question. Counsel. Question from one of the jurors is in relation to the first photograph, first picture of the body, what direction is the house? I think we, the lawyers think they're referring to Exhibit 35A. I'm going to show you what's been marked as government exhibit 35A is an apple. You recall that photograph? Yes. Um, so, uh, is that the photograph, juror number 10, that you are yes. referring to? Yes. And you want to know what direction is the house? Yes. All right. The body is facing in the south direction, so the body. So when you're looking at, like I'm looking at, which view, the house is to the. It's going to be to the right. Okay, thank you. On this side. Sorry, that's the question. All right, very well. Give the question to the clerk. And uh, any other questions for this witness? Same none. Thank you, sir. You can step down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.